welcome back to my channel and this video will be a new segment in the channel and I will be sharing the actual IT tickets that we get at work since there's a lot of people who seem to enjoy watching this kind of videos. I will now make it a regular segment in the channel where I will be doing this more often and we will call it Ticket Thursdays. So if you're interested to see what the actual IT tickets we get at work, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with the video. Okay, so before we get started with the IT tickets that I compiled from work, I just want to share to the new viewers that the ticketing system that we are using at work is Fresh Service and in my previous job, we used ServiceNow. So if you are familiar with both ServiceNow and Fresh Service, can you please let us know in the comment section what ticketing system you prefer, Fresh Service or ServiceNow? Which one is better ticketing system in your opinion? Okay, so the first ticket is Station computers do not allow me to log on. When attempting to log on to any station computer, I receive the following error screen. The security database on the server does not have a computer account for this workstation trust relationship. My password is up to date as I am still able to log on to websites from my own devices. So the error, the security database on a server does not have a computer account for this workstation trust relationship is actually a common issue that we encounter when our computer is in the domain. So there's a number of reasons why this issue can happen. Maybe the time and settings in the computer are misconfigured. The connection between the client and the main controller may be timed out. There might be some DNS or firewall issues or the computer might be disabled in Active Directory. So this has been a common issue that we encounter in our company, especially when the pandemic started and people started working remotely or working from home. Because the computer is in the domain, if it hasn't been in the network for a long time, it could lose the connection for the client with the domain controller. So that could happen that it could lock out the computer and it will give us this error message. So there's also a number of ways to solve this problem depending on the cost. And for us, based on our experience, the number one solution for this problem is to re-add the computer to the domain, which means to put the computer into work group domain first and then re-add it to the actual domain that you use for your company and that just re-establishes the connection of the client to the client machine that's the computer to the domain controller and that works most of the time also another simple way is just to check your computer in the active directory if it has been disabled and just simply re-enable it and it will work okay our next ticket is laptop has disruptive pop-ups user notes that there are pop-ups coming up while in the middle of editing and if he clicks it drags him to another site which obviously disrupts his workflow would like it to find out how to eliminate the pop-ups so when i first saw this ticket i was a bit confused on what kind of pop-ups he was referring to i thought it was you know normally the website pop-ups from chrome or firefox but he was actually talking about the pop-ups from windows 10 for the news and interest so it is very easy to solve this problem you can actually just google it and to solve this you can just right click on the taskbar and in the context menu that appears you can select news and interest and turn it off and that's it it won't pop up again and become disruptive and for some reason this week we actually got a couple of printer related tickets and one of them is MFP printers copiers need firmware update. HP has informed us that our MFP printers have out of date firmware. For device security, HP recommends updating the firmware when possible. So this is actually one of the few tickets that isn't actually an IT troubleshooting ticket or a request ticket, but it can be a project. This is the instance where this ticket can remain open for a while compared to other tickets that you can just close right away. 
So this is a very easy and simple task. It's just tedious and time consuming because you have to do it on all the printers or the machines on your building and you also have to coordinate with the people on the floor who are using the printers or the machine. Another printer ticket that we got is this one. Please replace printer in fifth floor office. New device has been placed in office and is ready to install. Once complete, please dispose of the old device and let the office manager know so it can be registered with HP. So there's two kind of printers in a business. There's the local computer and the network computer. Local computer is only accessible from the particular workstation, allowing it to only service one computer at a time. A network printer is part of a work group or network of computers that can all access the same printers at the same time. So the big difference between the local computer and the network computer is that the network computer can be shared by a lot of different users and can also be accessed at the same time while a local computer is just directly connected to a specific work station or a user. The local printer is the easier one to install because you just connect it directly to the computer with the cable. And the network printer is a more complicated one because you have to connect it with an ethernet cable and you have to put IP address on it, DNS servers, uh, subnet mask, and gateway for it to be accessible by computers in the same network or group. So that would be it for today's episode of Ticket Thursdays. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer all of the questions. If you also have any video recommendation on what I should do next in this channel, please also leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Ticket Thursdays. Thank you so much for watching.